In the heart of Seoul is the Chongno Samga area, well known as Korea's prime jewelry district. Over 3,000 related shops line the streets here. The area accounts for 70% of the total jewelry distribution in Korea. The biggest advantage is that the jewelry is 20 to 40% cheaper than retail prices because wholesalers and manufacturing facilities are together. Also, there are about 1,000 retailers in a highly concentrated area. So many couples, especially the soon-to-be-married ones, shop here. That's why some people say there's a Chongno wedding jewelry tour. In Korea, pre-wedding jewelry gifts are for the bride. The trend nowadays is to choose practical and simple designs over expensive goods. Even wedding gifts unique to Korea, such as golden turtles or toads, which symbolize longevity. The Chongno Jewelry District, better known as Korea's Jewelry Mecca, started out as an alley of clock shops in 1960. Everything from manufacturing to repair was carried out here. Since the Joseon Dynasty, Chongno has been a major transportation hub, making it the prime commercial district. What started out as a clock alley became the jewelry district we know today after the gold mining boom in the late 60s. The streets haven't changed much for 50 years. Right now, the jewelry district is responsible for 70% of nationwide distribution. It's safe to say that this is where trends begin. The district has become an icon in itself. The Chongno Mecca for jewelry boasts Korea's largest and longest standing history of jewelry. It's where you can see the best craftsmanship at work. How about taking a look around Korea's jewelry capital this weekend?